Hi everyone and welcome back to Women to Women. Well this morning we continued our series looking at Lisa Bevere's Girls with Swords. Yes, we've been looking at the spiritual battle and looking at how we can choose our weapons wisely so that we don't get caught unarmed and we've been looking in the last session at using the sword of the spirit which is God's word declaring God's truths and God's promises over our lives and making sure that we do not get caught in a vulnerable situation without knowing the word of God. Well today we looked at being heroes. Have you ever saw yourself as a modern day hero? What makes a superhero a hero in the first place? Well, of course, it's its superpowers, whether it's to be able to fly or be invisible or super strength. You know, A.W. Tozer wrote this. He says, we can be in our day what those heroes of faith in the past were in their day. But he says, remember, they didn't know at the time that they were heroes. What do you think of that? In Hebrews 11, we have a, a list of heroes in the faith. They call it the Hall of Faith. And there's quite a few in there. We've got Moses and Abraham, Rahab, Sarah, some of the greats in Scripture. And they, the, the Hall of Faith talks about their superpower, that that made them heroes, that that made them stand out. So that today we would be discussing them and what they achieved for the kingdom and referring to them today as heroes. Take Abraham, for instance. You know, the father, God the father, promised them that he would be a father of nations long before Abraham ever stepped into that role. Even when he was standing on the promises of God, he didn't know that one day that we would all be sitting round in a group discussing how Abraham and Sarah were heroes of the faith. Abraham believed, it said in, he in Hebrews 11, and it was credited to him as righteousness. What was it that all of these heroes in history had? Did they have supernatural powers? Well, yes, they did. They had the power of God, the spirit of God living alive and kicking in them. But what they had in common, all of them, was that they had faith to believe in a powerful, almighty God. Do you have faith in God today? Do you believe that God is the God of the impossible? That he can do immeasurably more than you can ever think, dream or imagine. And that he has plans for your life. He has greater for you. You have great potential. You have potential to be a hero. God is in the business of using ordinary people like you and I and transforming us into extraordinary heroes for the kingdom of God. You know, in a hundred years' time, there may be somebody that sits around and says, do you know what? I know Jesus today. I'm alive today. I share the gospel with boldness today because a distant relative, you, shared the gospel with their great-great-granny. Or that you showed kindness or that you stood firm in a trial, in a battle. And that testimony was told time and time again. See, we're all connected. There is a connected legacy. We are here today because those heroes of faith in chapter 11 of Hebrews were cheering us on today and saying, come on, you too can do extraordinary things for God. So pick up the baton and be a hero for God today and let your legacy continue for generations to come. Until next time, God bless.